So overnight, we got the promised FSD visualizations that Elon's been talking about. I guess they were able to squeeze it in right before Christmas. Today is Christmas Eve. For those of you that celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you do not celebrate Christmas, Happy Holidays. We love you all. Um, but today, I want to go over real quick what this update includes, and then we're going to go out and test it out on the street. This is version 10.2 2019 40.50.1. Okay, so one thing to keep in mind is this is in the USA. I'm in Colorado. Other countries and stuff might have different regulations and you might not get everything that you see here. First off, we have the driving visualization improvement that Elon was talking about. You can now display additional objects, which include stoplights, stop signs, and select road markings. Stop sign and stoplight visualizations are not a substitute for attentive driver and will not stop the car. So be sure that you're always like self-aware. You're driving, basically, still. Next up, we have voice commands, which is a huge one for me, and I really, really am happy with this one. Uh, voice commands have been rebuilt to understand natural language, so no longer do you have to say navigate to the focus commands to minimize having to touch the screen. So in my eyes, this is going to be more like a Siri, a Google, Alexa kind of thing. For climate, for example, set temperature to 70 or turn on passenger seat heater, uh, adjust my right mirror, open the glove box, let's go to work, uh, play the Beatles, uh, call David Lewis, send a text message to Evan, we're going to get in that in a minute. Show me the rear camera, open autopilot settings. A lot of really, really cool stuff in here. I'm really happy to see this. Show me the rear view camera. Phone improvements. Uh, you can now read and respond to text messages using your right scroll wheel button. When a new message is received, press the right scroll wheel button to have your text messages read out loud and press again to respond. Really, really cool. You can also view messages as they come in via the cards section of the touch screen. So to be able to sync your messages, you'll actually come up here, tap on the Bluetooth device in here. Uh, you should probably already have the sync contacts and sync calls, but you're going to want to click sync messages. And this is you're going to have to enable it on your device. For iPhone users, find your Tesla under settings, Bluetooth, and press the information icon. And then actually for anybody else, it should actually just show up. So once we hit reconnect, it's going to try to connect to this and then it should pop up on here. There we go. Tesla Model 3 is requesting permission to access messages. We're going to allow that. It does also say due to the limitations of Bluetooth support from your device that you will not be able to send group messages. So keep that in mind. And then we're also going to do chime on new message so I can know when I get one. Oh, I just got a message. Oh, I just got a message. Let's see what it was. 44,193 says defuse last minute gift panic with exploding kittens. <laughs> the game. What Get the it on your truck for $14.99 at http colon slash slash www.amazon.com slash ttgo now. Why did Amazon try to sell me exploding kittens? I don't know. That sounds Yikes. Uh, camp mode, now maintain airflow, temperature, interior lighting, as well as play music and power devices when camp mode is enabled. Um, and to enable it, you'll just hit right here. And now you have camp mode. And next up, Tesla Theater now has Twitch. If you are a big fan of gaming and everything, you'll definitely know what Twitch is. But there's some other categories on there too. It's really big for gamers though, so you can like live stream and everything. And to launch that, it's just in the entertainment icon. Premium connectivity is required to stream videos over cell. You can subscribe in your account. Uh, Stardew Valley, so this is a new game. Uh, basically in the game, you've inherited your grandfather's old farm plot and uh, you get to rebuild it. You have backgammon, two players, two sides, one is light, one is dark. Voice keyboard, you can now use dictation to input text into your car. Simply tap the microphone icon on the keyboard to input via voice control. So now you have tracks V0.1. In addition to creating a visual masterpiece with the Tesla Sketchpad, you can now make audio masterpieces with tracks. That's pretty interesting. I know a lot of people are going to like that. Wow, 
you get all kinds of cool stuff. I have no idea how to use this, by the way, so apologies in advance. I did not make this. This was already in the car. I'm not this good. But this is actually pretty cool. I know like a lot of uh, producers and stuff like that will really get a kick out of this and can do a lot of cool stuff with this. And you can also save your dash cam clips with honking. Uh, this is a really cool feature. Really happy this came because normally you'll honk if you're in a situation where you would like to save your dash cam. Um, but now it'll automatically save clips. You do have to do the toggle though, so make sure you check that. Additional navigation settings are now saved in your driver profile, such as volume levels for navigation, voice guidance, as well as traffic display settings. They now support Danish as your language. That's really cool. And then you have your previous notes. But I guess that's enough of playing with it in the garage. I think it's time we get out on the street. I want to play with this driving visualization stuff and really see how that works out. Okay, so we're just playing around in the driveway and look, David's a stop sign. So the stop sign I bought actually has a slow side and it's uh not picking that up oh cool it even shows the stop sign if you're not covering your face for like school zone oh it, uh, wait it remembers well, you were there at the stop sign well, but then now it doesn't see it anymore it so it updated its memory yeah saying okay there's not really a stop sign there okay so one thing we were curious about is trash cans and it just so happens one of our neighbors has left their trash can out how convenient Oh yeah, look, trash can. Oh, oh, it oh yeah, it's all their other trash can way over there. Wow. Wow, look at the trash can. <laughs> wow. Oh, it saw it as two. And then it saw the fire hydrant as cones. Oh. Uh, Interesting. Our first true test. Oh yeah, our first real stop sign. There it is, it sees it. Oh yeah. It oh, does. and the stop, like the cross traffic. Yeah. That's the, cool. The cross road, whatever. Yeah. Stop there. Speed limit signs. Oh look, it sees the lights. It's like it sees the lights it and it shows the, them as green. It's on trash can. Oh wait, it thinks the newspaper things are trash can. Yeah. Oh no wait, that is a trash can. <laughs> Just <laughs> you, kidding. You can't even tell. I I don't even know and the car knows. Okay now here's a crosswalk. I don't know if it'll get this or not. Oh it sees it as like a cone or whatever. Temporarily. That's cool how it's picking up like the arrows look, and everything. Look, three traffic lights, three traffic lights. Oh, and they just take green. And the crossroad. Well, that's really cool. Oh, look, does it show it as yellow? Oh, yeah, it showed it as yellow, and then, yeah, it did lost it, and then that one it shows as red. red. So we got three. It doesn't know that. Oh, yeah, it even picks up oh, the one way over it's there. It even got that one. Yeah, that's not even ours, but it shows that it is red over there. Oh, that's a silver one. Yeah, that's a nice looking silver. silver. So, yeah, it no longer sees the lights because they're kind of like right above us and it can't quite see Look at them. that, it's got oncoming, it had oncoming traffic that was sitting over there. And yeah, oh yeah, there it is, cool. They were shown more than once though. Okay, we are taking the off ramp from the highway and we are approaching an intersection, but also there is a railroad track and it, oh, it's actually cool that we are here at just the right time that you can see the train going by. Oh yeah, let's see like what kind of lights show up. Yeah, might not, we might have missed it by a few seconds, but we'll see. Or look on the, see the railroad crossing shows up. Yeah. On the road. Oh, it shows a lot of, well, it's just showing the uh, regular traffic lights. Didn't show the train at all, but we are kind of far away. That doesn't show us going over them? Mm, no, it didn't no. show those, but it did show the railroad crossing. Oh, look at all the cones coming up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the cones! Oh, that's cool, it's on both sides. Ooh, look. Oh, wow, we're gonna go through the cones. Ooh, I think you can get some on the oncoming. Uh, look at all of them. Ooh, you bay. A lot of cones. Okay, so here's a traffic circle. See if it recognizes the signs or anything here. So, yeah, so look, look at this. this is, look at that weird yeah. drawing, like, on the road. Uh, oh, eh, it, eh, well, it's no. actually, it does go, it gets two of them. It, oh, it, wait, wait. It, it looks, it does. Yeah, it does. Actually. You see that? Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah. Oh, it recognized the arrow going the other way. Oh, and look, even right in here. Parking lots? Yeah, even in parking lots, oh, wow. it recognizes the arrows. Wow. Even though they're not painted, I think that those are, you know, mapped on the. Uh, oh, it's all the person, too. Yeah, they're mapped. 
and so it knows, and if it, it sees part of it, so it goes ahead and shows it there, yeah. There's a stop sign up ahead. Oh, and where's the person? I don't see the person. It's all the oh, trash can. There he is. Ah. It's all the trash can, too. It's funny how the people are always facing you, but, like, moving <laughs> yeah. sideways. Oh, yeah. Look at that guy. Yep, there it is. Railroad yeah, crossing signs. Yeah. But look, it shows these as being able to turn yeah. into my lane. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, 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 that's not that's right. That's weird. That'd be interesting. That ain't right. <laughs> See if we pull forward or something, maybe it'll. That's weird, cause yeah, it still shows them behind you. Yeah, but I was hoping it'd get rid yeah, of those. It's weird that. <laughs> huh. Okay, so it still needs a little fixing, but otherwise, like, it's actually pretty good. Ooh, zoom in. Oh wait, Julius, oh, no yeah, rotate yeah, yeah. around. Oh. oh. Look at that truck. Oh yeah, look at the stoplights from the side. Ooh. Can we oh, stoplights from the back? Oh, cool. How does it know? Stoplights from the back. And then yeah, look at this little truck over here. Okay, so that's kind of like our little like preview of what the update came with. Definitely a lot of really cool things and you can really see kind of what the computer is doing, which I think is actually kind of cool. Hence the whole FSD visualization. But on that note, this only works with cars with hardware 3.0 or the FSD computer. If you have 2.0, 2.5, 1.0 or no autopilot, unfortunately you won't be able to get I don't think any of this update um, there's some of the other I think the text messages will work and stuff like that maybe we don't even know if that will work with autopilot with the MCU that could be so, MCU based put that down below if you got this update let us know if you had got like text messages and stuff and what autopilot and MCU version you have if you've seen any other different visualizations definitely comment down below what they were I'm sure there's some other things that we just haven't had the joy of experiencing yet and we can talk about it all down there. As always, a huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you guys are looking to accessorize your Model SX or Model 3, much like this one, definitely check them out. All linked down below. And using code Tesla Inventory will get you 15% off your first order. My two must-have accessories for Model 3 are definitely going to be a center console wrap to cover up the fingerprint and scratch-prone gloss black material that Tesla uses, as well as a matte screen protector to reduce fingerprints, as well as any glare from the sun. As always, though, thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Go ahead and click here to subscribe, here for some other ones, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.